Don't waste a breath mourning Miss Barnes. Every kitten grows up to be a cat. They seem so harmless at first. Small, quiet, lapping up their saucer of milk. But once they're uh, So what my product does allows you to shop what you watch. I think we say that we cover all products from all of your popular TV shows. Uh, in a nutshell, we build a scene timeline for last night's episode of Scandal, and then every scene from every character, we identify every product that they're wearing uh, in that scene, and then offer the shopping and buy links. Well, nobody's done this before because it's incredibly complicated to index every product without the support of the studios, production teams, or networks. Uh, I think. Uh, um, the idea is not new. You know, it's something that's been talked about within the industry many, many times over. It's just with the size of production teams, networks, producers, costume designers, and the complexity of the industry, it's hard to get through that entire value chain to get that costume information from the stylist to the network. And then it's a very, very complicated back end to manage all of the TV shows, all of the characters, all of the brands and the merchants offering fresh links. So we've spent two years um, with our artificial intelligence team in Amsterdam uh, building the back end of this product. So finally, two years after all of this development, we can fulfill on the promise of identifying every product that's in the scene without the support of the producers, the networks, or the costume designers. The potential of this product we think is huge. Uh, I think we think we can fundamentally change the viewer's viewing behavior uh, in the point of if you're watching a scene right now, and you see a jacket that you like, there's no ability to find out what that jacket is. It's just, it's too difficult. Um, we think that because with the brand awareness of Look Live, the viewer will now watch a television show thinking, I can buy all of these products. With this knowledge that you can buy all of the products, you can actually watch as an active shopping viewer. When you see Pharrell's t-shirt, and it's a Pokemon t-shirt, you're like, that's a cool t-shirt. You can click on the website, and you can buy the cool t-shirt you just saw Pharrell wearing. Um, in terms of an upside, financially, I think we have a five-year target organizationally set to be a $1 billion valuation within five years, where as organizationally we understand it's a very ambitious target, uh, but we think with the potential upside, the win-win relationships with the networks, the producers, the brands, the merchants, uh, that this $1 billion upside is possible within a five-year term. The brands are overwhelmingly positive. Um, I think when we look at who is winning, I think the brands are probably the first ones that are most excited, especially because the brands don't know when a costume designer of a television show chose one of their brand or their brand products to put on the screen. So we're both selling the products but also informing the brands that the costume designer from Scandal really likes her brand and is putting all of these products on the main character, Olivia Pope. Um, that gives the brand new knowledge that these, uh, um, these costume designers are trending with some of these characters and these characters' identities are being built on their brand. So beyond just the financial opportunity of them making money, it's also very good marketing for them uh, knowing that all of their products are appearing in these different media for the first time. Well, um, so the, the issue of advertiser conflicts isn't such an issue for the brand, it's more of an issue for the producers. Uh, luckily, the, the trend in the production uh, industry right now is moving away from product placement. There's still advertisers re advertising relationships with the networks in terms of uh, buying commercial time, but the, the bigger, biggest conflict comes in the product placement, where the big trend in the industry right now is moving as far away from product placement as they can. Um, you know, product placement, it sullies uh, great content. Uh, so I think the, uh, the, the writers don't want to have to be forced to do any product placement. So thankfully, all of our organic product placement can be monetized uh, with jeopardizing creative integrity for the writers. The initial brief was to talk really specifically to an incredibly niche target audience which was 14 to 19 year old kids in inner city London. Um, and the very specific brief was to build awareness for a guy called Derek Rose who is a massive basketball star out in America.